Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing how to install the lead time 40 amp DC to DC MPPT charge controller. So let's take everything out of the box. Product manual, don't need that, at least at the moment. Let's go ahead and open up the van. So this is currently where I'm standing with my current electric setup. I'm going to be putting my MPPT charge controller here. Uh, and then obviously you can see all of my fuses, everything like that. But today we are going to be mounting and installing just the charge controller. Uh, we're going to be routing all of the wire, everything like that, and go from there. Hey everyone, I've been working on something really special and I'm so excited to finally share it with you. My app, Van Life Planner. If you've ever been on the road, you know exactly how much planning goes into making things run smoothly. That is exactly why I built this. To help with things like tracking gas, planning meals, packing smart, and even keep a track of all the national parks that you visited. I'd love for you to check it out and support the project. It's something I've put a ton of heart into and your feedback would mean the absolute world to me. Every bit of support helps, whether you're trying the app, sharing it, or just letting me know what you think. Thanks so much, let's get back to the video. All right, so let's go ahead, grab the screws, my charge controller, and let's get this mounted up right away. We have all of these connectors here. You can see we've got three main connectors and then we do have a, or an accessory cord. This one right here is for the solar input, as you can see. And then this one is for the DC input. So this is going to be from the car battery to this unit. And then this one right here is the output. As you can see, the output plus. So that is going from here into these two bus bars. So in this box right here, I actually have all of my cable. That is six gauge, mer six gauge marine grade cable. So it is just your black and white cable that has a protective sleeve on it. As you can see it from right there, if you guys can. Let's go ahead and crack the hood open. But I am probably gonna be using, uh, there are two lugs here that I can pull off of and I think I'm going to pull from the upper ones just because they have the most room um, and these are going to be going on to there nicely so I might put even a washer to make a really nice connection although I do see a washer already on there so I might just actually use that one but there's going to be one there one there and then the cable is going to shoot through somewhere around there now so let's go ahead and take a look So right there, I don't know if you guys can see that hole right there, but that, that is the perfect space to shoot that through. And we're gonna route it probably down through the floor here and then tuck it behind this and have it just pop out right there. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead, take our cable <coughs> and route it through that hole. So now with this string here, what I'm gonna do is take my electrical tape and the string to the tape. Don't need very much tape because it's only a string, I'm not pulling anything forcefully. We just wanna make sure that it doesn't come off. And then you're gonna wrap the string back through so it kinda makes like a hook. And then that should be plenty. Pull that off. And now we're gonna go ahead and just give ourselves some string now the hole I actually am using is a factory Ford Transit connect hole and boom there's my string. So now what we're going to do and now because I'm a little skeptical but I think this still should work and then now this cable should be ready to be pulled through. So I'm going to kind of put it down gently right here. We don't need very much. Probably about honestly two feet of that up into the engine bay. Feed the head of it through the hole. That way we don't need to interfere with any of that. Okay, now that the head of the cable is in, now that's when we start pulling this. Nice and easy. We don't wanna force anything. Cable come through and I can see the head of the wire right there. Just nice and easy. Don't wanna force it. That should be more than plenty of cable up front. All right, now that we're routed there, we're gonna go ahead and take off our floor. 
All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and route this and I'll show you guys what I do after. So I drilled through my little panel right here and I was able to route the white wire underneath this running board. And then through that hole that I showed you guys earlier, I was able to then get my white wire all the way up front. I have not connected this quite yet. What we are going to focus on is going to be running the two sets of cables that are going to be running to this uh, as the input. So as we've talked about before, we have our actual DC input, which is our battery input. And then we have our uh, solar input, which is of course from our solar panels, which is these cables right here. And then you have your positive, you have your negative, and then same thing over here. You're going to have your positive, your negative. All right. There we go. All right. Definitely a lot harder to take that apart than I thought that was going to, but still worked. Now for this guy, let's go ahead and cut right. I'm going to say right here, let's grab our wire strippers. So this is our positive cable, which is going to the fuse. Go ahead and cut that. Now we have to reuse that. And we are going to mark how much of this we need to trim off, which is about right, I'd say right there. We need to strip off. And then we are going to go ahead around this extremely carefully. Now the reason why is this is a stranded cable. And you want to keep as many as of those little strands of cable as you can. Otherwise you thin out the gauge wire that it technically is. There we are. We have a very, very, very nicely stripped cable. Now what we're going to do before we do that, make sure all these strands are nice and straight. And then we're going to grab our heat shrink and then That'll go just like this. So now leaving it just like that, grab our crimping tool and we're gonna line it up in the crimper. Perfect. So now that is crimped on there. That is a really nice crimp actually. And then when we're done, we're gonna go ahead and go back and heat shrink all of that. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and slide this into the crimper or the tool or the connector, sorry. So this is the negative wire into the negative. So we gotta make sure that the A is up. So it goes like this. So here's the A. And there's the A. And then now time to do the other one. Boom. All right. And that is connected. Boom. All right. So let's reconnect this. That's on there. That's on there. So now we can go ahead and technically do each other just like that. And now that is that segment pretty much done. So we're going to go ahead and actually disconnect this for, oh, how do I even disconnect these? Do they just pull apart? Perfect. Really nice. All right. So we'll get into the solar part on the next part. So just a quick update on what I've done so far is I've actually gone through and I have done the heat shrink on both of these ter terminals here. And then what I have also done is terminated both jacks for the solar connectors so that is completely done and then as you guys have seen before we terminated the uh, the input from the uh, starter battery to the back over here okay so we are just about wrapped up on installing the dc to dc battery charger so this is what i'm going to show you guys what i've done here so this is the owner's manual uh I do have a few more things to, to of course connect. Uh, as you can tell, there's not a battery hooked up to this. For installation of this charger, you can see 
that you have your starter battery goes into there and then your service battery goes into the output and then of course you got your solar panel that goes into there. Now for this demonstration I want you guys to imagine that this is the positive and negative terminal of a battery. So that's exactly what this is going to be. A bus bar is just going to conjoin everything all together so I can just tie off of these points instead of continuously having to go back to battery. Uh, why I don't have the battery hooked up yet is because I need to run through a fuse and then as well as the switch uh, just so I can have a cutoff. So uh, I just haven't done that quite yet. So act as if this is my battery. So all of these you can see here. So my DC input is going to plug into here. So these I of course I'm probably going to make a little nicer. But just so I can show you guys. So this is going to plug in there like that. And then this one is going to plug into here like that. You can actually see I did get power. Uh, mainly because that is my solar panels and they are getting a little bit of input from my LED lights and the ceiling So just ignore that for right now uh, And then of course my output power is going to go to my actual battery Which is going to plug into there so you can see that that is exactly how it's going to all hook up I just don't have that hooked up right now because I don't want to get power from my solar panels um, but we're just going to disconnect all of these for right now and we are going to go ahead and move on with the final steps of the battery. So for me, for my tie off points, I'm probably going to actually use these two uh, lugs right there. So we've got my positive, we got my negative there. Uh, we're just going to have to strip back probably about a good, probably about foot of wire. Um, just kind of reach between the two and I'm just going to tuck any extra off to the side. Put off. And I, I'll probably go like this. All right, let's use my body as a as some leverage. So we'll go like right there. Get that in. We'll make sure we're not missing any strands. Perfect. Ah, good crimp. Gotta use my body. Gotta use your body. <laughs> Gotta use your body sometimes. So. Let's go ahead and heat shrink these. All right. So now that both of those are done, let's go ahead and connect them up. Okay, so now both of those are fully connected up. So we got the positive and negative hooked up, nice and tight. That actually, right there guys, is it for installing the DC to DC charger from lead time. So. I have the connection up to the battery. I have it routed through the van. Now, again, in my setup, I do not need the accessory. Uh, so I'm just gonna, I'm probably just gonna tap this off with some tape or uh, cap that off with some tape. Uh, but then here you can see, this is our battery input. So this is currently what our battery is going to output power to. This right here, as I mentioned, is my solar panels. As you can see right here, those are my two solar panels. And then this right here is going to be my battery. And then they all plug in right into the respective connectors. And that is the lead time battery, DC to DC, MPPT charger, fully installed. So if you guys enjoyed watching the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos.